this is the Upper River Derwent, just below the Derwent Reservoir. Got a quick hour to have a little bit of a fish. End of September, should be some quite nice wild brownies here. This pool is uh, particularly nice, there's a few rising in here, so I'm going to give it a bash with a little midgy dry fly pattern. This is the fly that I'm using. I think it's a size 16, little midgy pattern with like a gingery grizzly cape uh, hackle. A couple of little grizzly wings there, barbless hook. Just going to put a little bit of gink on just to make it float. Put that on my fingers, let it melt, and then rub it into the fly. This helps to keep the fly afloat by separating all the fibres. So before I start to cast, I'll just give it a good dosing in that. And then before the fly actually touches the water, I'll make a good few false casts just to shake off any excess. Hopefully this should work. Missed it on the first cast there. Make sure the fly is nice and dry and then I'll put it over the fish again and hopefully it'll stick this time. I think I've scared that little lad away, so I'm going to try a bit further up. Can't believe it. There's some godlike casts going in there, and the fish aren't even looking at it. Unbelievable. I'm dropping the fly into the overhanging tree there, giving it a little bit of a tug, it's dropping out perfectly right into the middle of the swim where the fish are, and they're just totally ignoring it. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing, I'll try and get a close up of it. Okay, flies in the tree, a little bit of a tug, drop it out perfectly. Nothing. That's the fallen tree that I was fishing up to before. And the fish is in this fast moving water here. There's no doubt quite a few other fish up here as well. That's a very likely looking spot. Most people just kind of stand on these rocks and fish into with a wet fly, but uh, I'm a bit of a purist, I like to try and catch them on the top with a dry fly if I can, so I'm going to give this pool a bash now. There you go, beautiful little wild brown trout, 
on a dry flag. Pretty happy with that. Look at the spots on them. Absolutely glorious. Barbless hook came straight out. No worries. Back he goes. Now, although I was fishing in the slow bit here, uh, initially, I actually caught that last fella from the, f the fast bit of water right at the top of the pool, so I'm going to have another go there. There's, chances are there's plenty of fish up there. Getting towards the end of the day, it's been quite a nice day. Fish are fed quite hard. Don't think they want to feed any more, judging by the fact that there's none at all rising throughout this whole pool now. I do like it when they are rising because it gives me something to cast to, but uh, I'll have a go in another couple of pools. Here's a quick video of a fish that I actually caught in the next pool. Uh, I didn't have the camera set up when I caught it, but uh, it's also a very nice little brown trout. Got this one on a wet, hazier nymph, but I'm going to switch back to the dry fly now because I don't really like catching them on wet fly. This is the tail end of the next pool. Um, there's a few fish rising in the bottom of the pool, quite a lot rising in the top. Uh, I'm going to try and get the ones in the bottom first and then move on to the top. This time I'm using a very small grey duster. That's it there. It's another dry fly, basically just made with rabbit under fur on the body, little grey tail and a little creamy hackle with a black centre basically just represents a small midgey generally works pretty well on this river so I'll give it a go I'm actually going to fish from behind the camera here um, so you won't see me in this one hopefully you'll see some fish eating the fly though when the water's calm like this I find that if the fish have too long to look at the fly they tend to just ignore it. It's the exact opposite of fishing in fast water where they need to have a good look at it before they take it. In slow moving water, you really need to drop it right on their heads. Otherwise, they take a good look, realize it's not a proper fly and ignore it. That's a nice cast. Not happening in the tail end of that pool. End of season clear water fish at the end of the day. Very, very difficult to catch. Either that or I'm just not very good. But I'm going to try a little bit further up. I'm not going to give up until I catch another one. This is another really likely looking spot. This is actually the top of the pool where I've just failed to catch anything. There's not actually anything rising up here either, but um, it's still very likely looking. I'm actually going to try and fish underneath, underneath that overhanging tree with the orangey yellow leaves. There's quite a current comes down the back of there, so 
and maybe some fish lying in there. Again, I'm going to fish from behind the camera because I'm limited for space. Well, that actually looks pretty cool. I'm looking in the viewfinder there. Like a first person view of fishing. size of the fly it would take ultra 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 high definition for you to be able to see it unfortunately but that can just about make it out that was a better cast it's approximately 18 to 20 yards away from me do actually see some fish rising right at the top end of the pool up about here so I may have a go up there but I'll give it a few more casts here just in case there's fish here I don't want to scare anything off there's a one which is just about in range probably 22 yards away maybe A little bit further than I can cast from here. It's only a seven foot rod. I'll have another bash though. That was a pretty good cast. fish that are rising all seem to be at the top end of the pool. It's kind of at the extreme range of where I was casting from behind the camera. So I'm going to creep up a little bit, hopefully not scare the fish, and be able to put a fly on a little bit better presentation and hopefully they'll take it. take with that last one and missed it. Another beautiful little brownie. I'm gonna go back. And I'll try and catch another one.
Another nice little brownie. Was on again on the dry fly on the grey duster. He's going to go back as well. There he goes, and I think I'm going to make that do. That's it. Four fish in about an hour or so. Three on the dry, one on the wet, so I'm happy with that. I always like to get more on the dry than on the wet, matter less of what time of year I go fishing. Um, unfortunately, I've started making fishing videos when there's only five days of the fishing season left, so I'll probably be adding to this series sometime next year. <laughs> Sorry about that. Thanks for watching.